The reason for loving radio is simply because you get to know everything first and foremost. Whatever is happening in and around the UAE, you get to know it first. Right here on <laughs> City 1016. Like um, tomorrow, there's a grand opening of one of the biggest parks that, uh, well... the world has ever seen bollywood park sid and i actually went had the opportunity to go to the bollywood park and mm. it's incredible because it feels like dubai mm-hmm. and bollywood our mm-hmm. two parents at city 1016 have just had a second baby mm-hmm. and that second baby is bollywood park and it's talking awesome. about bollywood parks uh, we got the, the general manager thomas yelam here and uh, thomas welcome once again thank you <laughs> now You are also looking after Motion Gate as well, right? Yes. And um, so we don't ask you who, which, which child is uh, your favorite because we already Us. know it's Bollywood. Of <laughs> But we'll move forward from there. <laughs> talking about Bollywood parks and uh, talking about the whole experience, we we were there, uh, I think, last week, and uh, we were told that there are like shows happening in Bollywood parks every 20 minutes. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. And we have uh, five stages uh, throughout the parks, and sometimes you even have sim. Simultaneously uh, shows because wow. there's so much going on, and these are all free, free to uh, free to watch. Yes, they are part of what can we say the whole package uh, you get when you buy your tickets. What is when you say show? What exactly do people expect? It's all kinds of show. I would say some are inspired by the southern part of India. Some are really Bollywoodized. Yeah. Some are tributes to some of the. biggest uh, and the best uh, stars of bollywood of course and then we have dance classes for the ones that don't know how to bollywood dance <laughs> yes we we took part in a couple of dance classes and and the feeling was actually very very proud when we saw that uh, not only desis but um, emirates and uh, africans, africans and, and europeans and, and japanese and all of them were dancing to bhangra because they, they want to uh, to know how to bollywood dance of course of course right now you guys have been doing plenty of surveys when people exit the park and you tell you ask them what was your favorite part of the park what's usually their answer what we can see now is that the the high score is the bollywood boulevard that's mm-hmm. what you experience when you enter the park mm-hmm. and also when you exit the park but it's really like an immersive walk where you have gigantic elephants on your mm. right hand side yeah. then you have a huge store on the mm. other side then you have a fountain in the middle and then you see the raj mahal theater mm. when you come out of that uh, boulevard wow. awesome awesome wow. and talking talking about the whole bollywood experience and you guys obviously did not have anything to look up to in terms of souvenirs and making those souvenirs because this is the first bollywood themed park yeah so uh, did you guys make all of those souvenirs i mean the the designing and everything was done by you guys or what yes we have had you about copied it from somewhere like no 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 we don't in copy in bollywood <laughs> parks now we have had a team of around 20 to 30 people working for almost 3 years now to develop i think we have more than 3000 SKU so it's different styles SKU that's a stock keeping unit okay. <laughs> and uh, that's what we call it when we have different styles different sizes so we have right. of course covered all of the IPs and we have done it all from scratch and we're still developing even yesterday I saw new uh, styles that we are doing yeah. uh, so it is just awesome when people say souvenirs we're talking about t-shirts, t-shirts mugs, mugs. Yeah, keychains, yeah, yeah yeah but you were talking about one that almost feels like gold yeah. we have, we have created a t-shirt based on uh, on the Mughal-e Azam movie Mm. And I can tell you this t-shirt is so heavy that you you really feel it's gold and I I think it's so authentic compared to the movie when when you see all this royalty and then you get this t-shirt and it weighs like 2 uh, kilos hmm. uh, so everything is done with really big respect to the IPs that's Fantastic. incredible and you know speaking of respect to the IPs that the part that we enjoyed the most was walking through the boulevard and not eating tacos and nachos but actually having vada pav masala chai moongfali it's incredible the attention to detail you feel bollywood you know yes. you don't just see bollywood you really feel it all over did you guys have to sample like 7 billion yes i i had to go to karama and burj dubai <laughs> all kinds of places to try the indian the authentic food <laughs> And it was very spicy, I have to admit. <laughs> and uh, you were given okay. very strange looks, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, some places I don't think they have seen somebody like me ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so the park is opening tomorrow. It's it's officially opening tomorrow. So what are the prices, ticket prices like? Yeah, the ticket price is 285 dirham, and mm-hmm. then you can buy the annual pass, which is 755. So after about two visits, then it's probably better to buy the annual pass. Yeah, and you yeah. everybody knows that when your relatives come from India, <laughs> you will have to take them. Yes, you will have to do that at least 12 times a year. Exactly. So just get the annual pass. It's better. <laughs> it's much better. Anyways, thank you so much, Thomas. Thank you. We look forward to being there at the opening and yeah, making a lot of noise about it. You're always welcome. <laughs>